Warning, this video contains nicotine consumption and sometimes tobacco. Nicotine is an addictive chemical and tobacco may cause gum disease or tooth loss. Please, do not try this at home. Man, I love that thing, dude. <laughs> What's cracking back again, mother truckers outlaw back here, another gosh video for you today. No, I did not just take speed, I promise. It was meth. <laughs> Today I got a hold of something that's kind of blowing my mind and it's got my mind freaking racing. You may have seen the title already like the weirdest looking freaking can of dip I ever seen in my life. Well, it's true. This ain't clickbait, I promise you. I've done a lot of videos on the way things look. The smallest can of dip that's ever been made. The biggest that's ever been made. Obviously it was Stoker's with the 10 can tub and then then Longhorn came out with the 12 because they wanted to updo it, right? Even though Longhorn's a lot lower quality if you ask me. <laughs> Today, it's the weirdest because it just looks weird. A 10 and a 12 can tub looks fine, man. It's just a bucket, right? Look at this little freaking midget. What the dick is this? This right here, it fuck us. This right here is the Longhorn six can tub. What in the world is this little midget thing? It's a midget tub, ladies and gentlemen. It's a midget tub, but six cans, okay? So I started thinking, you know, so I started to think, so I started, I started thinking, I'm like, here on Outlaw Dip, here at, here at Outlaw Dip, I, uh, we sell six packs. We don't sell five can rolls. We like to overdo it a little bit and do a six pack to y'all mother truckers, you know? So I was thinking, man, what if we did like a six can tub or something like that down the road, you know? That would be cool, right? If that's something y'all want to see from Outlaw Dip, you guys let me know in the comments below. Then you can get just a bucket of watermelon. We'll just call it the bucket, you know? If you like bucket of bourbon. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, my mind's racing, man. I need that new machine! Hurry the fuck up! See, I picked this guy up, got wintergreen, because I, I don't know, man. Wintergreen's like the thing I can stand. <laughs> the, the straight, the natural, stuff like that. I'm like, I ain't had a Longhorn in a while. But you know what? Longhorn, I think, is trying to get a little bit better because their price has been raised quite a bit, at least around here. Longhorn used to be 90 cents a can, dude. Remember the, you know, you can get the display log. It's like 10 cans or something or 12 or whatever it is. And it's just like the display and what they have where they take it out. People bought, bought those for like 10 bucks. They, I mean, it was like 90 cents a can. Now, I, I don't know for a fact, but I'm, I believe Longhorn's like over two bucks now. It might be $1.99 or something in some areas, but it's it's for sure gone up. So we're gonna try this today. The weirdest can of dip I ever seen. Let's go ahead and crack this. Obviously it says six cans on it. Let's get a good look at this thing here. Includes six cans on the thing there. Six cans, yep. This is wintergreen. Get the big old warning label. You know, warning label for you. If you guys don't know, it needs to take up 30% of the can or the tub. So that's 30% right there, I reckon. Yep, and then they got it on the top as well. Refill can included. Wow, where'd you guys get that from? I need to turn you around <laughs> to see. Here, hold on, I'll just film it on my phone and make Brolaw freaking edit it in. Here we go, push and record right now. Guys, check this out. You, there you guys are right there. And then right here is the Stoker's tub with Bobby. This is a little bit weird, guys. Uh, you guys know I'm friends with Bobby Stoker himself. I got the giant tub of Stoker's right there. And then on the desk, I've got Bobby with their window decal stickers that they hooked me up with a long time ago. And then I got the Stoker's clock. So I got a lot of Bobby in my life over here, man. It's a little weird, Bobby. So that's what it looks like behind, right? So I see a lot of Bobby whenever I'm filming these videos. So, you know, with him always staring at me and, and the way that he is on this tub, his eyes follow you wherever you go. It's freaking weird, dude. See, so yeah, anyways, man, this Longhorn is awesome, dude. It's one of my favorite dips, man. Oh, sorry, Bobby. I apologize. Bobby, I'm sorry, dude. Let's go ahead and give this crap equals six cans. Oh, that's nice, man. I do like that. I actually do like that quite a bit. I'm a big fan of the tubs, man, because uh, I'll tell you guys a little story. When I first moved out, I was 17 when I first moved out. I graduated when I was 17, just because I was a little bit younger. I was smart, you know, I was actually a smart guy. You guys can obviously tell. So I graduated when I was 17, a little bit early, you know, than most people, because big brain, you know, big brain. And, uh, you know, I was, I, was, uh, I was chilling in my apartment, you know, me and my buddy got an apartment for like three months until we started, you know, fucking hating each other, you know, and then we're like, fuck this, dude, I'm moving out, I'm moving to Florida, and then he went to jail, actually, <laughs> true story, man. Anyways, um, we had this little stupid table we got off, like, Craigslist wasn't even around back then, but we got off of, you know, I don't know, eBay or something, I don't know, we probably picked it up at some meth head's driveway in downtown Denver, I don't know, but it was like this little table, and every morning we had Stoker's Mint, 
We had a big old tub of Stoker's Mitch, which is, is 10 cans, right? And what we did is over time, we just kept buying tubs and my, my roommate and I, Pistol Pete, we would each have a refillable can. And we would just go in there every morning before we went to work, scoop it out of the tub and then go to work. And that was our dip for the day. And Stoker's Mint, by the way, if you guys don't know, is still my favorite mint to this day. I love it. Until we come out with an outlaw mint or something, of course, you know. We're going to perfect that. But Stoker's Mint is one of my favorites. Anyways, that's getting off topic. Let's go ahead and crack this. I can already smell the winter grain. And then you can see inside you get a refillable can. Oh, come on, man. Oh, I got to go turn off the heat, man. This freaking audio, dude. <laughs> oh, I apologize. That'll turn off in a second. So in here you have a nice refillable can. You take this out. They always wrap them in plastic so you don't get your fingers dirty even though you always do. And then there is your dip. So this stuff um, looks pretty good, looks pretty moist. I'm interested to try Longhorn again. Yeah, I don't think I've tried Longhorn since I did the Longhorn Suicide years ago. Uh, I might be wrong, or actually it might've been since I did the 12 can video, which was years ago as well. So let's go ahead and uh, get this up in here. The cool thing about Longhorn, which is just a mess, they, they wrap it in plastic. I feel like that makes it even more of a mess. Like, dude, look at this, I'm getting, oh, maybe I should. I, I, I have a big brain, I swear, I graduated early, dude. All right, so we get in here. The cool thing about Longhorn, which I didn't know they did, is they actually put a label on their plastic can with that kind of looks like their regular can. And fuck it, Scott, there you go. Look at that. Look at that beautiful Longhorn. Fat Boy should be here. Every time I say Longhorn, he likes to go, Longhorn! Because he was at, Fat Boy was at a dip store one time picking up dip, and the Longhorn rep, oh, I should make him bring it over, dude. I'm gonna actually have him send me a picture and we'll put it in this video. So, Fat Boy was talking to this Longhorn rep at the store. Some bitch gave him this badass Longhorn knife that they were giving away. I never got one. You know what? Fat Boy loves that knife, but if it's my birthday coming up soon, maybe I'll like, Hey, Fat Boy, you know what I really want, man? I just really want that knife, dude. It would just look so good on my wall, man. It would really help out the bitches. Fat Boy's such a little softy, dude. He'll freaking cave and give it to me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. All right, well, we made a freaking mess everywhere. Everybody likes to talk about, oh, your carpet's always so nice. It's your carpet's always vacuumed. I'm kind of OCD if you guys don't know. All right, clean new can. Let's go ahead and give us a scoop in here and then we can pack her up. A lot of times I never use the can, but look, this is what I used to do, man. This is what I used to do. Just get you a, a nice can, fill it up, and this is how I'd fill my cans for the day going out to work. Yeah. There you go. Damn. Weirdest can I've ever seen in my life. Let's go ahead and PDS. Wow, we're already 10 minutes in this video and I haven't freaking put it in dip. All right. Pack's nice. Pack's nice. I like it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I don't even know why I hold stuff up to the camera anymore. It just never focuses. I apologize. Face is so pretty. My brain's so big. Camera's confused, you know? Confusing them. Oh, wow. The pinchability is amazing wow that's that's awesome actually mm, look at this mother trucker right there that is a freaking stem if i ever seen one right there that's a big one yeah it happens man it freaking happens stems happen man you're cutting big old freaking tobacco leaves down you're you're gonna get a stem in it every once in a while oh uh, wow i'm actually impressed right now Okay, if you guys don't know anything about dip, I know a lot of people that don't know a lot about dip and they still just watch this vidges because, you know, <laughs> look at me, big brain, you know, obviously. But if you don't know anything about dip, Longhorn is on the cheaper side of dips, okay? You know, obviously like Copenhagen, Grizzly are kind of at the top, Longhorn, Kayak, kind of at the bottom, all right? Oh, had to scoot that in there, guys. Ha! <laughs> mud jug of the day, we got the wild watermelon mud jug right there. This is actually on clearance on mudjug.com. That's why I'm using it today. Uh, one of the coolest mud jugs ever, dude. Just straight up watermelon. For all you wild watermelon fans of Outlaw Dip, you guys uh, will love this one as well. This is on clearance, mudjug.com. Right there, doesn't freaking tip over. It's got, it's got a weighted bottom, and it doesn't even freaking spill, dude. I just spit in it, it didn't even spill. Gotta love it, man, mudjug.com. It's time for a mud jug minute. When you go to the gas station, you have no idea what you want. So. Okay. How's it going today, sir? Good, dude. So, ha, I'm excited, man. So, uh, let's see here. Um, let's see here. So, I'm gonna get, um, oh, so many freaking choices, man. So, let's see, I'm gonna get, uh, oh, you, you, you can actually go ahead. Thank you. Get some of that outlaw rambling root beer? Uh, yeah. Here you go. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. I'm gonna do a, uh, let me get, let me see one of those. Um, so, I'm, I'm 
I'm kind of trying to decide exactly like what I'm gonna get. How's it going, man? Hey, how you doing? Hey, you look familiar. Oh, yeah. you know, do I know you? Uh, no. So let's see. Actually, you know what, sir? You just you go right ahead, man. Uh, all right. Hey, uh, can I get some outlaw watermelon? There you go. Oh, sweet. Thanks, man. All right, I think I got it. I think I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> so let's get. Um, I, uh, let me. Let me. Uh, let me just, let me just get this cucumber. That's a zucchini. That's it for a magic minute! So I don't even know what I was saying, actually. So Longhorn and Kayak are on the lower end. Dude, I am actually very, very impressed right now. Very impressed. Pinchability with this is insane. Like, dude, that's freaking actually really good, man. Wow. Holy crap, man. Pinkerton is giving it to freaking gather with this guy. Pinkerton is the one that makes Longhorn. They also make Redman, which is probably the biggest chewing tobacco company ever. They also make Timberwolf, which is a huge moist snuff company as well, kind of on the lower end. And then they also make a, a bunch of different types of chewing tobaccos and a bunch of different types of plugs and stuff like that. This right now is a completely different dip than what I've had before. And this wintergreen taste ain't half bad. Now you can obviously taste, it's kind of like a cheaper wintergreen taste. It's not, it's not very artificial, but it's just, um, it's a little lighter wintergreen. When you get that, I, I'm a bigger fan of the dark wintergreen taste. I like the dark wintergreen taste. I like to taste a little bit of the tobacco mixed in with a little bit of wintergreen. This is, um, I feel like you don't taste the tobacco as much, but the wintergreen flavor is there. It, it definitely tastes like a, a cheaper wintergreen taste, but dude, the pinchability and the packability that how it stays in your lip and the softness is on point right now. I am so freaking impressed. I mean, they, obviously you saw me crack this thing. I haven't had Longhorn in years, years. This is actually blowing my mind right now how good this actually is. I can't believe it, man. For a cheaper wintergreen and you can pick up Longhorn for so cheap. And I know in some states it's probably still freaking a dollar something. I, I, I don't exactly know. If you guys actually know how much Longhorn is in your area, let me know in the comments below because um, I bought this stuff online and I do not remember how much I paid for it. And I could go and look back, but I'm too freaking lazy. Big brain, don't need to go do that much work. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm set for life because of my, you know, obviously. <laughs> Very impressive, man. The juice is perfect. The, the, the taste isn't that bad. You know, for a wintergreen dipper, this might be the wintergreen you like. It, it, it's comparable to Timberwolf wintergreen, um, obviously, but, but you can just taste a little bit of that cheaper wintergreen flavoring in there. But I'm super impressed with that dude. I, I honestly, honestly can't even believe it. Now, for sure, this is the weirdest tub of dip, can of dip I've ever seen in my life, but I actually really like the idea of six. 10, a little crazy. 12 is way crazy, man. Unless, I mean, if you, I, I could see you getting a 12 can of this. If you if you love it and you wanna save money, Longhorn, I feel like they're killing the game. And, and Pinkerton is out of Kentucky too. I always wanted to go because they were kind of close to where I used to live down there. I always wanted to go and tour it, but I never got the opportunity like some companies have given me. So Pinkerton, if you're watching, give me a holler. Five, 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 lard ass. <laughs> Don't call that number, please. It's actually my ex-girlfriend's. <laughs> Very impressed, man. Very freaking impressed, guys. I right, Pinkerton, Longhorn, you guys are killing it right now. I'm I'm actually impressed, dude. But I'm Bobby. I'm I'm sorry, Bobby. Dude, it's okay, man. I, I'm still friends with you. I love you more. Oh boy. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos every other day or whatever. If you guys want me to upload more, I, I can. Just let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below if you guys are enjoying these. I'm actually filming some of these in advance, so I don't really know what's going on with the coronavirus and quarantine and what's going on. So sometimes I might not address it in the actual video, but in the in video, but next time I will. So if you guys are still stuck at home, not really doing much, I hope these videos are helping out and, and keeping you guys entertained because that's what I'm here to do. My job is freaking essential, dude. All right, if I need to go to the store and buy dip, it's essential. If the cop pulls me over and tries to give me a fine for it, it's just, I'm, he'd, he'd, he'd probably laugh in my face and give me a ticket, honestly. What a life I live. The weirdest can I've ever seen, and I honestly was going into this video, probably gonna give it a bad review because it's Longhorn. And I came out of this completely surprised. Longhorn, you guys are doing it, man. I'm impressed. For coming from a guy that knows his moist snuff very freaking well, and I can tell from God of Dip to Lords, you guys are doing pretty dang good. 
All right, if you guys want to help support this guy's channel because YouTube definitely freaking doesn't, make sure to check out my website. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm good. Sorry, sorry, the nicotine hit me just a little bit, dude. <laughs> got a little Nicky in my dicky. <laughs> Allomerch.com is in the description box below. We got a lot of merch up there, including hats, shirts, hoodies, beanies. Dude, we got freaking everything over there. So if you guys want to rep and you guys dig the stuff, I would certainly appreciate it. And don't forget, man, I've seen on my YouTube studio app that half the people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed. So if you're watching this right now and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please, please do so. So that every single time I upload, you get notified and turn notifications on. On. That is the most important thing. Because sometimes this website, you know, obviously with the content that I make, sometimes they don't like to put me in your sub box. It happens. I get it. I've been doing it long enough. I'm used to it at this point. Thank God I got a big brain, right? Oh, and to end the video today, obviously Wild Watermelon Mud Jug today, but there is a new one that just dropped today. And that is the American Biker Mud Jug. The American Biker Mud Jug is the newest one to come out. All you bikers out there, all you Americans, that's a pretty sick looking mud jug. I do not have one in my possession yet because I do believe that my postal service driver is a dipper and he steals my mud jugs all the freaking time. I just know it, dude. I see you, Chang Lee. That's his name. I think it's his name. I mean, he looks like a Chang Lee at least. So he looks like he does some ninja moves in his... If anybody, you know, a dog comes up to him, he's spinning back, kick the dog to the face or something, you know? Anyways, Chang Lee's badass. Yeah, anyways, steal my freaking mud jug, son of a dick. The new mud jug is out, go get it. Mud jug down, yeah, I'm linking the description box. Hey man, we'll see you tomorrow in a couple days or something like that. We'll, we'll do another one for you. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy these videos. 25, 8, 3, 6, 6, no matter what you're doing. Pack you some Longhorn and don't let coronavirus get airborne. Keep it back in the